a full face of almost all new makeup. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Bobby, and today we are going to play with all new makeup, mostly from Laura Geller. I also am trying these new beautiful brushes from BK Beauty and their collaboration with Angie from Hot and Flashy. I got them in yesterday. So let's get into it. All right, let's start out with her primer. This is called Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. It says it will give me a natural dewy look. It's the perfect prep step. So says Laura. Ooh, okay, it's like a cream, diminishes right away. I can't smell it because I currently have COVID. Put about that much on it first. I mean, it feels like a typical primer. Doesn't have a huge amount of slip. I'm gonna double amount. Not very silicone-y. So it kind of feels like just a moisturizer, which it says is basically what it is. I bought three different foundations. Well, two of the same and one a little bit different. I bought her cream foundation and I got it in two different colors. One looks a little bit more pink than the other. Let me just do a little color matching. I am self-tanned. Oh wow, that one pretty much blends right in. Okay, that one's a little light, but I think I'm gonna go with the darker of the two. It comes with this spongy kind of thing, so I'm gonna try two different ways to do this because she does recommend using this, but she also recommends her brush, which I didn't buy any of her brushes. So I'm gonna use my favorite BK Beauty 101 brush on one side, and then I'll use her sponge on the other. Oh my, I'm not, seeing, I'm not seeing anything coming off, really. Okay, let me load it up a little bit more. But it is a creamy texture, light to medium coverage, demi-matte finish, mm. non-drying, vitamin E enriched, and it says it is long wearing. <laughs> Do you guys see a difference? Between my two, I mean, the color's definitely a match. Okay, not liking that so far. Let me take it in with my brush, see if that's better. I'm gonna just load up my brush. I'll do it on this side. Okay, that's much better. Definitely a light coverage still, but I at least see it covering up some of my hyperpigmentation there. Okay, so that's one layer. I would say that's a low medium coverage. I would not say it's completely light, but I wouldn't say it is um, a full medium coverage. Okay, it's definitely gathering in on my lines. I always get one right here, it's, which, you know, it's not the end of the world. A lot of foundations do that on me, so. Feels good, like I don't feel like it's heavy on my skin. It definitely is not a full matte finish so far. Like it's not dried down yet. But um, I would say, it. they said demi matte, which, okay, I would accept demi matte. She does sell this. This is a baked balance and brighten foundation. I got it in the color medium. It's very pretty. So it's supposed to balance out your skin because of all these different tones in it. You put them all together, it meshes all together, and that's how you get coverage on your face. So I use the BK Beauty 101 again. I have a new one, a clean one, so let me try that on this. Load this up. Okay, I can see the powder coming off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just see if this adds anything. Like, could this act as my powder instead of using like a face setting powder? All right, I would say that that brings it up to a of true medium coverage. Let's see creasing, let me see, let me get my cre the creases out. It's not drastic though, it's not a lot. Let me take this and swirl it in and see if I can get that to set it because that would be nice if that would set it. Very excited today to be using uh, BK Beauty's new set and this is a collaboration with Angie from Hot and Flashy. Now, BK Beauty did send me this whole set, but I'm not obligated to say I like it or not. I'm assuming I am going to like it because I love their brushes. She came out with seven brushes, so I'm going to use this one. This one I'm probably the most excited to use because it looks very much like their 101 brush, foundation brush, which I love, and that is 
why Angie designed it this way. This is for concealer. So her brushes are all designed to be for women who are of mature age because our eyes specifically are smaller and I have very hooded, very small eyes. I'm gonna be using the Age Perfect Concealer. What I do is I just do a tiny right along where my like the puffiness ends because if you can see that's where the darkness is not necessarily under my eye it'll go up there but it really is right there so that's exactly where i usually put my foundation concealer i'm excited to use this and i'm just going to work my way up and i always get into the corner because it's always dark right in here if you can see it's dark there and then just come out oh wow just so easy that worked really well i'm liking this brush this is cool i'm going to go ahead and put some primer on my eyelid it's the thank me later eyelid primer it's my all-time favorite you know when you're watching good morning america they have um deals i forgot what the lady's name is she had a deal for Laura Geller. And so I got all of these products for 50% off. So I was like, ooh, let's go get some fun makeup and not pay full price. I'm gonna use a concealer on my lid. That is how I get an all over color. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna use the same brush I use for under my eyes. And then just, oh, I think I overdid it a bit. Oh, that works really well. To take a setting powder just to set it real quick. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and set those eyes. Okay, it's definitely creasing up here. So I'm going to go ahead and set it a little bit with, I'm going to use the BK Beauty 108 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. I can use it under my eye. I can use it above my head. I'm just going to go ahead and take the creases out with a sponge. I don't need to use a lot, but I'm just going to put this setting powder on my creases themselves. And that's why I use this small brush because I don't necessarily want it all over my face. Okay, I put my brows on. I used my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. I didn't get any brow products from Laura Geller, but I am gonna show a new one. My favorite gel to put in my um, eyes is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. Used it for years, love it. It's inexpensive, it's wonderful. But during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up a new one, and this is Too Faced Brow Wig. <laughs> Interesting name. And I wanted to try it out. I obviously got it in brown or medium. I don't know, I'll put the color in there. You can see it's got some fibers coming off of it. That's, those fibers are in there on purpose. That's not hair that you're seeing. That's fibers that they put in there. And supposedly it's supposed to um, make your eyebrows look fluffier, or I guess like you've got a wig, I don't know. It does um, fluff up your eyebrows a little more, which I don't really need fluffing my eyebrows. In fact, my eyebrows do not sit flush to my skin. My, they actually go off of my face, so I have to be careful. But it does give it a more natural look, and I like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some eyeshadow on, which is new for me, I know. I really wanna use the BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashies brushes because they're designed specifically for women like us who have hooded eyes, smaller eyes, all of the above. So, so excited. She was very creative in the fact that what she did is she numbered them one through five, and that's the number you're supposed to use them in. I'm going to be using the Morphe Truth or Die palette. I have not, have I used this? I think I maybe used it a tiny bit. So I'm gonna give myself an all over color. I'm gonna go ahead with this one right here. I'm gonna take my 501 brush, all over color, kind of like what I did with the setting powder, but I need to do more because I didn't do much. Now I'm going to take the 502 brush. I'm gonna dip it in this one right here for a transition shade. Listen to me, like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you are new here, I don't do shadow that much, I just don't. But I have been teaching myself while watching Lisa J from Lisa J Makeup and Angie from Aunt 
Angie Hat and Flashy, and a few other ones in there. So I'm gonna go in and just give it a transition. I'm gonna do a very light eyeshadow look today. I have pretty hooded eyes. So I'm gonna go, I'm going way above my crease. My crease is about right here. I'm going more up here. Not all the way up to the top, but pretty much to the top. See how that looks. 503, and this I think is more of like a blending brush. So I'm gonna just make sure that everything is blended okay. Then I'm gonna take her 504 brush, and this is more like a smaller pencil brush. These are pretty soft at the top, but they're bendable, but not like total fluff. A little bit darker and a little bit pink. I think I wanna have a little bit of a pink color. And I'm gonna load this up with just the tip. And I'm gonna go just on the end, just on the end right there and just bring it. Okay, these are so tiny, I'm loving that so much easier to put it on your eye when it's small and you don't have to deal with it going places you don't want it to go. Again, I'm going above my crease, but not too much. And then just bringing it out a little bit. I'm not doing a very complicated look, obviously. How fun. I'm liking that. So I'm gonna take my blending brush again. So this is the 50 three brush and I'm just going to lightly dust because again I don't want any harsh lines and now I'm going to go with the 505 this is a very flat brush but I'm going to use it to put a little bit little bit of shimmer on my eyes I'm going to use this one right here this one right here that is a shimmer I'm a little nervous to do this and I'm just going to pack it on the bottom portion only. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. To just get a little bit of a shimmer on the movable part. Yeah, this is so much easier than using your finger. I like that. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with the 502 brush. Gonna just clean it off a little bit and I'm going to use this real light one right here to do a little bit of highlight on my brow bone. Now, actually, I'm gonna use the smaller brush. I'm gonna use the 504. I'm only gonna do the tip right on the brow bone. Just to get a little bit of whiteness and, and color up there. I'm also gonna use it in the corner of my eye, right, right on the inside corner, just to get a little bit of lightness in that area. Who knows if they match? <laughs> but it's fun to try. I think that with makeup, to feel confident when you're using makeup, the best thing to do is to play when you really have no place to go. Now I play on camera so everyone can see my mistakes, but you can play when you have no place to go. Just do it on a Saturday or in the evening before you put your take your makeup off and play and you just get so much better as you play. I curled my lashes. My lashes are so, and my brows are so much stronger because I've been using Grande Brow and Grande Lash. Game changer. Like literally, ladies, can I just tell you, it is so much easier to do my eyebrows, so much easier to have lashes and make them look pretty. I'm in shock how good this product is. So. If you haven't tried it, try it. I'll link them both below. I got mine on Amazon when it was Amazon Prime, so I got them a little bit cheaper, but I am prepared to pay full price for them because they are amazing. And they last a good amount of time, like six months. Foundation is not a very good choice to set your makeup. It doesn't work very well for that. I did not get mascara from Laura Geller. I don't know if they didn't have a available at the time or I don't know, but I am using Grande mascara now they sent this to me so for me to try but give an honest review and i'm just going to tell you right now i think this is my new holy grail of mascaras they sent me the waterproof 
Thank you very much, Grande. I already loved their serums, so I was excited. Now, is this cheap? No, it's $25. And I've used this three days. I have yet to see a flake at the end of the day with this. It's got the kind of brush that I like. I wouldn't call it extreme mascara. Like, I think that if you like that clumpy mascara look where your lashes just look like there are spiders coming off your face, I don't think you're gonna like this. Like, I don't think Rachel would like this. She likes big, big, big lashes. I don't, I like a more natural looking bigger lash with no clumps. But I mean, come on ladies, look at that. Oh my goodness, love this stuff. Okay, that's one layer. Now I'm gonna put on a second layer. I don't usually do too much of a second layer because then you can get clumpy, but this tends to let you do that without it like it separates the lashes. Oh my goodness. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna put in my gel. So if you do not know what this gel is, I will link the video below, below because my DIY brow gel that basically glues your eyebrows in place. Excuse me, my voice is going. When I am filming this, I'm actually at the tail end of having COVID. I am in quarantine still and I get out Monday, yay, um, to go to work. But I actually am excited to go to work. This stuff is magic. It makes your brows stay in place all day without being shiny and weird looking. Ugh, I did not get any bronzer from her, so I'm gonna use the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I've actually only used this once. It's my daughter Rachel's. It's an 01 Natural, but I am going to use the BK Beauty with Angie Hot and Flashy. Do I have to say that every time? <laughs> and I'm gonna use the, the number 507 brush. This she designed for blush. I'm gonna use it for um, bronzer because the blush I'm gonna use from Laura Geller is a cream. I don't think this was designed to do cream. I could be wrong. Angie, if you're watching, tell me below, or Lisa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come in, just swirl this in, and start at the top and work your way down. Try not to go down too far, because you don't wanna drag your face down. But, oh, these brushes are just so soft. Which, somebody who has rosacea, I have rosacea and I have sensitive skin so and dry skin. And so brushes matter to me that they are not rough. If any of you have rosacea, you know that any kind of roughness on your face will just exacerbate any issues you have. It will make you redder. So having a very soft brush is not just for me to say, oh, it's so soft. It really matters to me. So I am very pleased that they thought that through and did soft. Okay, then I kind of get it packed on. Now this is not a very strong bronzer. I'm not sure if I like it that much, but we'll keep going with it. Now I always bronze under my chin because I have extra skin down here and I don't want that catching the light. So I always go right underneath here. And of course this brush does that perfectly. Bring it down. Plus you want no lines. So make sure there's no line of divination, divi line of delimit, no, line of demarcation. <laughs> Where is my dictionary? <laughs> you dictionary people will tell me of demarcation. I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Okay. All right, I'm actually liking that. Did by the Laura Geller. This is Forever Peach, and it is their Timeless Skin Comp Cream Compact Blush. Oh, it is such a pretty color. Let me start up here and work my way. Yeah, it's very light. I don't know, it might be even too light for me. Well, maybe not. Maybe I just need to get enough on there. It's doing pretty good with just my finger. Oh man, it looks much brighter in there. Let's see. Use my brush and just kind of stipple it out. Oh, okay, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, Laura, you have a good one here, I think. We'll see how long it lasts. I think they only had two colors. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I like this. So far, so good. I think that's a, just a really pretty color. It doesn't have any 
shift to it at all. Like I do not see a glow in any way. So you may want to put on a highlighter. I don't know. I'm not going to do a highlighter today, but just keep in mind, I bought way too many lip products from them. I got three pencils and I got two, a lipstick and a lip gloss. So the pencils, I'm not sure what I was thinking on this color. This is their Pout Perfect Waterproof Lip Liner in Orchid. This one's in Sangria and this one is in Hazelnut. All of them are waterproof. I know the lipstick claims to not feather. So that's a good thing. Laura Geller is of mature age. So it does make sense that her products are good for women who are over 50s. Oh, I just realized. Okay, I like how this is. I don't think they're all like that, but this one is. I really like the feel of this going on. I like the packaging. I like how it's got that angle. Loving this so far. These two are not retractable. You have to sharpen them. So I wish they all were the kind that retracts. I'm thankful that the one that I will use the most, which is definitely the Happy Hazelnut, I'm feeling very happy, even though I hate the taste of hazelnut. Like coffee, oh, gross. Although I love, what are those things? The ones where it's in the middle and it's got the chocolate and it's crunchy. You get them at Christmas time all the time. <gasps> All I can think is La Roque Posay, and that's a, <laughs> that's a, a face brand. Oh, what's it called? I don't know. Okay, lipstick. I got mine in the color. It's Modern Classic Lipstick Elite. Ooh, very creamy. It goes with this hazelnut lip pencil perfectly. Mm, I like it. It feels good. I can't rub my lips together too much. It's like my lipstick goes everywhere when I do that. <sighs> this is the Nude Kisses oh, Lip Hugging Lip Gloss. So it's got a very distinct scoop. Let's see how this does. Pretty color. I'm not going to put a ton on, more like just in the middle, just to kind of get my lips a little bit more fullness to it. Not sticky. It's not doing that real sticky thing. It's definitely, you know, glossy. I like it. All right, I put on a more fall vibe kind of sweater, took my hair down, and I will tell you that I, I really like pretty much everything that I used. I like the eyeshadow. These, I'm telling you, these are game changers, ladies. I'm going to link them below, but these are, if you are over 50, or if you just have really small eyes, oh my, Angie and Lisa. BK Beauty, y'all did an amazing job. I am thrilled with these. And again, ladies, I am not, I am not required to say a thing. I don't even have to show you loving these. I don't know if I like the foundation yet. I'm gonna do a check-in at the end of the day and I'll let you know. And then I'll come back to where we are right here. It is almost seven o'clock and I thought I would do a check-in. I'm probably gonna wash my face soon. This has been on my face for I guess about 10 hours. My mascara's going strong, not one flake. I'm amazed by this stuff. I doubt this is gonna come across because it's hard to see it. It's definitely starting to break apart right around here, which is kind of an odd area, except that I touch my face a lot, so it could be something like that. It's not bad, but it definitely has some breaking apart. It's done okay. I haven't been real active today. Let me pull y'all back. I haven't been really active today. Like I said, I'm still getting over COVID, so I'm not doing a lot of activity. My husband and I did take a walk. It's not hot out today, so it's not real sweaty. I'm really happy with the mascara. I'm very happy with the shadow. The shadow looks great still, no creasing. That's probably because, well, I know it's because of my eye primer that I put on. The lipstick is the only thing I touched up and I didn't even put the whole thing on. All I did was put on the lip gloss right before I started filming, that was it. I am pretty much pleased, but so far, so good. If you like full face of makeup, you're going to like this video here. One of the products in this video was a huge surprise to me. I will see you in that one, God bless.